How's it going? Today is Monday, May 20th, and I think Def Punk comes out today. But I wouldn't know that. I got it a week early from a DJ friend who likes to spin at local clubs. Anyways, I wanted to talk about today about how to convert a rasterized image you create in Photoshop and how to create it to a vectored illustrator document and the differences between a bitmap or a rasterized document instead of a vector formula is that a rasterized formula, if you can see here, is jagged and not smooth. And a raster... Let me zoom out. Let me take this, this little M here. If I could... Hmm. If I could find it. Oh no. Here we go. So this little TM mark that I have, if I could move it, that would be great. There we go. This little TM mark, this trademark mark, you see how I, I minimize it and it could get much, much easier to see but still rasterized and still jagged and when I blow it up real big, it becomes fuzzy and not not readable all too well. So what I'm going to do is that now that I have my full rasterized image all ready to go, what I'm actually going to do is save this to my desktop and replace, and okay. And I'm gonna exit out of this. I'm gonna open up my Illustrator, my Illustrator CS6, and I'm gonna open up my file that's found on my desktop. Now in the beginning it will ask you if you want to convert all layers to an object or to flatten everything as a single image. For now we want to convert all the layers to be objects. So we'll hit OK. Now do its thing. Now as you can tell, let me zoom out, as you can tell it's still rasterized. It still has all the jagged edges and everything. Also, I should tell you that um, my symbol right here, it's not, it's not symmetrical at all. It's actually asymmetrical. And that is because this side is not as complete as this side. I had to draw this left side over here different from the right side to create. I like asymmetrical things. I don't like uh, symmetrical things. So. Now that I have this, what I'm actually going to do is choose the selection tool, this V tool. Or if you have V, you'll get the, short, the shortcut for it, unless you're typing. Then you need to click somewhere else and then hit V. So what I'm actually going to do is, I have a blank white layer right here. And what this white layer is from, it's from the Photoshop. It's from the Photoshop... Um, program itself so it created a background image. We're actually going to hit delete to delete this. We're actually going to now select our image. Now we can see all these objects and what we actually need to do is convert this back to a flattened image. So I'm going to go to my transparency, I'm sorry, um, I'm actually going to convert this to a rasterized image and that can be found in object. It just says rasterized right here. Now it says uh, the color model RGB, we actually want this. That can work, that'll be fine. Uh, PPI stands for pixels per inch, so a high resolution for that, that should be fine. We want transparent for the background, so that way when we pick this up and move it around, that it will be only linked to itself and not the background and everything else. So we want transparent and just hit OK. And now that it converted everything to a single object. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my object and hit image trace and hit make. Now if you notice that everything is now not rasterized, everything is a complete vector image. And that's actually how you create uh, rasterized images into vector images. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for something different along this course. I just thought I should show you this tip to help you out if you only work in Photoshop and you, you wish you're like, Oh darn, 
I wish I had, I could vectorize my image to put on logos or business cards or whatever. Well now you have the power to do it through this video. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another uh, different demos throughout the week. One will be uh, synth, the other will be Photoshop skills or reason or how to create a very interesting hook for a storyline. Whatever you guys need. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another exciting tutorial. Peace.